We are Sprinton Lake Middle School's 8th grade video club. We usually produce school videos highlighting important events in the community. But this fall, we had the opportunity to participate in the What's So Cool About Manufacturing contest. Because of this, we had the amazing opportunity to visit a worldwide manufacturing business, Southco. We were able to see manufacturing in a totally different way. We met with trained professionals designing molds and managing gigantically complex robots. Southco is in Concord, PA. On our tour, two Southco employees showed us the massive manufacturing plant where we got to see some of the products that they make. They had all these cool machines making products. In the design lab, we saw how engineers designed the molds for the touch point products. We saw robots constantly making the molds and filling the, them up with the material so that they are ready to be sold and used. The robots make 3 fourths of a million to 1.5 million products each week. 250,000 to 350,000 a day, and 8,000 to 15,000 an hour. They make over 100,000 standard products, custom products, and modifications of standard products. Southco is an accomplished company that designs and creates latches and rivets and everything in between. They have factories in Europe, America, Australia, and Asia. Southco employs experts that design mechanisms with plastic and metal. They take the plastic and inject it at super high temperatures so they can mold it and make copies. Their molds have to be perfect. They specialize in touch point objects. So a touch point is something that you feel. So a point that your hand comes in contact with. So a door handle, a knob, um, so anything like that, your glove compartment. Um, so anything that you physically touch is a touch point. Southco is an international company and the leading, most reputable maker of locks, latches, captive fasteners, hinges, handles, and other innovative products. With hundreds of employees and thousands of sales each all over the world, Southco contributes not only to the economy of the U.S., but also to the global economy.